you on what is, of course, a truly special day in this part of the world. It is Derby Day, a rivalry so deeply entrenched into the history of sport in this land. It divides opinions, it divides families, it divides just about anything that can be divided. The game itself lasts just 90 minutes, but its repercussions can be felt for months and years ahead. Is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Another day, another massive game. Pride and loyalty are all involved here. Plus a little bit of one-upmanship. Perhaps the biggest factor of them all. Well, Peter, many a colleague and contemporary of mine have said that no matter what Friday they may have played in and won, that the derby is the biggest day on their calendar. And there is a substantial part of me that agrees with all of this. Just look around you. How can you expect things not to happen? I'm actually expecting this to be fairly explosive. So it's down to business here. Well, the atmosphere in this stadium is so highly charged, you get the feeling we're in for something really meaty. Aggression will feature heavily over the next 90 minutes. If you're squeamish, look away. And that has been clubbed away. Drilled in low. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. And it's played forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Joe. And here's Rodriguez. He's come loose. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. and you would probably say it's too far out for a shot. It was, it was a sterling effort, and at least he kept it on target. It was, yeah, it was worth a go. A real chance to break. Skrinja. Santos are unbeaten in five on the road. It's a good run. Soyuncu to play it forward. Hoists it forward. Santos have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Bravo deals with it effortlessly. Gets away from his opponent, forward it goes. Big chance! It's in! Just so calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant.
Santos. It's all first blood here. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Going through. Malcolm. Swung over into the middle. Corinthians have been making some good inroads down the right. No doubt this is an area they've identified as a potential weakness in their opposition, and they're willing to exploit it. Well, the defence have two choices, deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Shapes to shoot! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Malcolm. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. And it's hoisted clear. It's a throw in. Malcolm pumps it into the area. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. Shea Rodriguez looking to get on the end of this. Now a chance to break. Unketia. He's one on one. It's Unketia. Oh, he's really drilled it. I actually like to see that in shots at goal when there's a, a noticeable effort to get over the ball and, and keep it down. Malcolm. Joe. Now it's Jay Rodriguez. Rodriguez! And the counter is on. Uketia. He's off on a marauding run. He's had a go! Oh, surely that deserved better. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. measured pass more than happy to take the muscular approach Renato Augusto Skriniar simply had to make that count and he did it with some authority too, wonderful oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted and that's offside yes it is Bravo gets it upfield. Tries to get it forward quickly. Renato Augusto. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Oh, it's a searing run. He is a man on a mission. Malcolm. Malcolm delivers. And he's there to cut it out. And there's the end of the first half. And there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Not the most convincing of displays, they could certainly do much better than this. They want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. They're probably into the second 45 minutes. 
Corinthians don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first. If they don't grab an early goal in the second half, they can't hold back though. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Malcolm. Oh, shooting chance! Just off target. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work up. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Che Rodriguez, he's got away. A heavy challenge. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. Well, Buena, yeah, that does look a foul. The referee's given a free kick. Well, Buena. Work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Oh, that is lovely footwork. It's anyone's ball. Cut out in the nick of time. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. Santos into this game following that derby draw. Alabas gets it away. Over to the left. Gets... Being played forward. So here comes the substitution. Ketia. That's sprayed out wide. It out wide, swung over. And Ketia seems a free kick for that. Forward it goes. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, they've got to deny him time and space, and, and that's one way of ensuring it. Corinthians showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. He's left his man, swept in. Trying to get... Oh, that is up, and the finish! He has got it! An act of charity gratefully received. Well, it's an inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to the best effect. What an introduction.
That has certainly made things interesting. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. Hoists it forward. He gets past his man. It's a fabulous position. And here's Raul. Renato Augusto battles to win it back. Santos showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. A good challenge, stood up well against this man. Corinthians merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Gets the better of his man. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. William. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And it's played forward. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. William. That. I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. <laughs> Having turned the game on... And that's that! Corinthians have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character, and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Corinthians made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know? It's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride, and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.